Hello, my name is Howard and welcome to my channel. In this series, I'm showing you how to build a home lab just like this one that's going to show you how to learn cybersecurity skills. In this series, I'm showing you how to build this lab so that we can learn in demand cybersecurity skills. We're going to learn the networking basis, basics, system administration, network security monitoring, and this is all going to be in your own safe and secure environment. What you're looking at right now on this graph is one of the sample Suricata graph intrusion detection system that we're going to be deploying. And to do this, we have a scenario. We say that you work for Trevor Phillips industry. Having this scenario is going to help us imitate a production environment that you might see in a small business out there. And this is really good for learning. So your job is to make sure that you deploy this environment and make sure that it's safe and you monitor it. So we have a network diagram. We have a Dell server right here. And in this Dell server, that's where we're doing everything. So today we're going to be making sure that we download the ISO files that we need for the whole lab. And then in this case, we're going to be downloading Windows Server. I will be using Windows Server 2016 because I have a license for it. You can use 2019. We use Ubuntu 20 uh, for this and we also use CentOS 7 and so on CentOS 8. And you know, you'll see why we use both because some softwares that we'll be using have been tested on one or the other. Then uh, these Linux machines are what we'll be using for intrusion detection. In this case, we'll be using Zeek and Suricata. Then we we'll use Elastic, the Elastic Sim for the Sim solution. We we'll also deploy Security Onion, so make sure to download Security Onion. And then we we'll deploy Gray Gray Log for system monitoring, Zabbix. And then we have fun projects like this graph that you see right here for our Dell R710, where we'll be monitoring the power usage. This actually is one of my personal Dell R710s that I'm monitoring. And as you can see, it costs me $13 to run every month. Last time when I finished my last video, we had actually installed VMware ASXi and we had storage configured. And in this case, you have a data store. This can be either external data store or your local one. And today we need to go in ahead and on this data store right, that we have here in this storage, we need to browse the data store and we're going to create this iso folder i already have mine here but we go ahead and say create directory and i'm going to name this iso2 this is where we're going to be uploading our iso files so in the iso folder you want to upload centos ubuntu and windows so let's go ahead and i'll show you where you can find them for windows for me i'm going to microsoft and i'm downloading this Windows Server 2016, the evaluation, the ISO, that's what I'm going to click download. So you need to sign in, you need to go to Microsoft and download this ISO. You also need to go to the Ubuntu site. And in this case, we're going to go for this um, server image and go ahead and also download this server image here, the server install image, and make sure that you have a copy of that. So let me cancel this because I already downloaded it. Then also let's go to centos.com and download the ISO. In this case, we want the latest one, CentOS 8. And you can also find CentOS 7 is also here, right here. For CentOS 8, the image that we want is the 64-bit ISO image. So download this one. With these three images, you also want Security Onion. So let's download Security Onion from securityonion.org. So you go to downloads and download the ISO file. The last one that we need is PFSense. And this one is going to be for those who are visualizing their PFSense. So if you're visualizing your PFSense, then you need this one right here. And to download, just choose AMD, choose it, uh, ISO installer, then download. Once you have all these images downloaded, go back to your VMware and choose upload. Once you choose your ISO folder, say upload, then browse to your downloads. In this case, let's upload our security onion, then open. And this is going to upload the image for you. So. Once you're done with these images, then next we just start in installing our machines that we need. We'll start maybe with Windows, our, uh, our domain controller, 
uh, Windows Server 20, 2016. Then we can even, uh, for those who are virtualizing the PFCs, maybe we'll just go ahead and virtualize it. But for today, this will take a long time depending on how long it takes to download them and it also take a long time to upload them. So expect this to take maybe an hour or two for you for your time. Otherwise, next time we we'll then start installing our machines in this lab. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.